All right, welcome back to Foundation. This is Alpha 4, now with startup game music. And we've got this cool camera view kind of floating around with the castle off in the distance. We also have mods. So I've created two mods. One is creative mode where you can plot buildings and you don't need builders, at least for the early set of buildings. Uh, the mod support is still in its infancy, so not everything is supported. I'm not using that one though. I also have something I called fast start. So if you look at here, I've got uh, fast start enabled. And basically what this has is cheaper prices for the early buildings and the less resources something takes, the faster it builds. So that speeds up the early game. And I'll have links in the description for these modifications if you want to download them. If you, if you run, have access to the game and you want to download it, you can buy the game from the foundation website. I'll also put the, the links in there. And I believe it's on sale at the time of this recording. It's on sale. And I'm not sure how long that sale lasts, but there is a discounted price. So let's go and see how the game starts up. So we're going to do a new game. I, I select uh, Fast Start for Balancing. And the map, there is a new mountain map. So of course, we're going to be playing on the new mountain map. So let's get into the game. All right, welcome to the mountain map. Can I show this? Uh, let's get this uh, quest dialog out of the way. So here we are. It, it's a big map, and the camera controls aren't perfect at the moment, so it's kind of hard to see the entire map. Um, there's also an issue that the traders and the new villagers come from the left. They come in right about here. So if you build to the right of the river, it's no-go. Uh, they can't get there unless you build a bridge right away, which I probably could since I've cheapened the prices. But uh, I've, I've cheapened the territory prices, the initial ones, and the taxes. However, as I build a bigger and bigger city, those prices return to normal. Uh, I think after about 10 or 15 tiles are bought. Uh, anyway, we're going to start... Where's the stone? Right, the stone is on the border, but that's good enough. We're going to start right here. Yes, and I will put down a village center. And we're going to put the village center, oh, right in the center. One more thing. I start with two extra villagers because this is the fast mod, right? So we have two extra unemployed people. Uh, so let me see. I, I want to make sure I go through all the changes here. At first, I've only got extraction in the forbidden land uh, zones because they can't build houses yet until you start selling food. And once you start selling food, that unlocks. I made the first square, um, not the budget. Uh, this has only cost me 250, so I can actually expand right away if I want to. Whereas normally it costs 500 and yeah, you can't expand until you start making money. But I could spend that money and expand. I'm not gonna do that. Um, uh, the trading is, I think this is different in this version. Uh, middle was already added, but now um, they offer honey and weapons. Uh, the icon's the same. I'm sure they'll fix that. The little green dude is wine <laughs> and uh, fish. You can unlock this one for a thousand. This one's about the same as before, except they buy herbs and you can grow herbs at a monastery. Unlock for 20 bread. And this one, you can, they'll buy polished stone because that, this is the thing now. So remember before, I couldn't sell the polished stone. Now I can. And that's unlocked with 20 planks. If we look up here in the menu, uh, Fisher's Hut, uh, Lord Manor, and then the Lord Manor parts. All part of this uh, whole splendor system. So you need influence to unlock, but you also have to have a certain amount of splendor in that section. We go over to Kingdom, we've got the wooden keep, the wooden wall, the hunter's hut, which I unlocked in a test game of the preview, but I'm going to have to do that all over again because the saves are incompatible with the preview version. And the big keep is still coming soon, but the weaponsmith is a thing as our weapons. And then for the church, 
rustic church you can build as soon as it unlocks based on your villager status. Uh, rustic church additional parts, and then the small stone wall, then the church itself, then the monastery, the herb garden, the copy room is coming soon, and the apiary, which is, I always think birds, but it's not, it's bees. So there's where the honey comes in. So we've got a lot to do here, and my guys are just standing around not doing anything because it's time to build. Lumber camp. Let's put the lumber camp right there we go. And Rudolph, you're going to be a builder. And Baptiste, you're going to be a builder. I'm going to try to make, make it with just two builders. So you're going to build that. And I am going to also make a gathering hut. Berry collection is a little faster in this version. So you don't need as many berry pickers to start out with. There we go. I thought I created two builders. Who's not? Oh, okay. You're gonna. You're, you've been assigned to both of them. All right. Let's get some wood going. We'll do Anna and Otto for the wood. Oh, let's open up my favorite resource list window and put it over here. And all uh, right, 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 right. I'm behind. Extraction zone. Here's your wood extraction zone. Get on it. Cut down these trees, please. And then for stone, why don't I do this now so I don't forget, is right. There we go. All right, it's a half circle. Let's go ahead and build one of those to a stone cutter's camp. And we're gonna put that right on the board line here. And a well. Once we get stones, we're gonna need a well and we might as well put that in right here. And then, so you can see, I, I didn't really go over these. The, the lumber camp is only five gold, one set of tools. The gathering hut is five gold, one wood. That's why these things build so fast. That is part of my fast start modification. Balancing isn't done in the game anyway, so as long as everything's in order, I don't feel like the reducing the resources is really that big of a deal as far as showing the game. But if you want to play it, it's up to you how you want to do it. So let's put a market in for the berries. Actually, I didn't assign any berry pickers, did I? Uh, let's have go ahead and two have two, and then let's build a market, and we're gonna do a food market, and we'll put it uh, right here next to the well. I guess right here is a good spot, and it will be. Oh, sorry. It, you can go ahead and start. Just two wood to build these, and let's see, what else do we want to do? We've got a lot of unemployed people. Oh, this is done. Uh, let's put two here to start out with. And as soon as this is done, and why don't I go ahead and speed up to two. Another change, there's only three uh, X, X1, X2, X3 speeds now. We'll go on X2 for a while. Uh, what you waiting for there, buddy? Probably stone, right? Yeah, two stone. So, in the mods right now, you can't specify cloth. This would have normally taken ten wood and five cloth. I've changed that to just two wood and two stone. My goal would be two cloth uh, once I'm available to put that in as a modification. And that should be finished shortly. The well is complete. You stole his stones, dude. That's what's happening. And we're going to want to next build a sawmill because I'm going to need planks for a warehouse. And so we will put the sawmill right on this road because it's uh, right next to the wood camp. And how much did I charge for the sawmill? Get in there and click on it. Five wood and two stone. So we've got a market. We're going to sell berries, and we're going to assign Theodric. Theodoric. 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 And you have sold berries already, and our village should start to take off here. And let's build the warehouse. There we go. We've reached a new status, Surf. 
And so now the whole cloth has been, uh, the cloth line has been unlocked. Uh, the kingdom is recognizing your efforts to establish your settlement. I am but your humble servant. This will give us four kingdom points. I always forget what the, the name of that is. It is influence. Four kingdom influence and four labor influence. Which is good. Because then as soon as we get splendor. And actually we have two splendor. Which means I can unlock the fisher's hut if I want to. Uh... Why can I unlock it yet? Oh, as soon as I have 10 serfs, I do right now have 10 serfs, I can unlock the Fisher's Hut, and I have points left over to unlock the Lord Manor. There we go. Now I'm all, I've used all my influence points, but I've got both of those unlocked. Uh, we need some people to saw some wood. And I think I'm out of people already, aren't I? Yeah. And to think, I added two extra people. Anyway, I was going to build a warehouse warehouse and I'm gonna put this warehouse right across the street actually I'm probably gonna to want to put two warehouses in since we have stone and such and let's see if I put one here I'm gonna to want to put the other one about here so let's do that and I guess I could go ahead and build two now warehouses are something you can never have too many of but I won't I don't have the people for it yet Right, and uh, the happiness is 90, but they're going to want to build. They're going to want to build houses. So let's set our residential zone to right around here for now. We already see a new house going up. But I'm going to stick with this area here as residential. So I'm going to back off. Let's see, Baptiste, you're going to become available. I'm going to put you in this warehouse. And then slot one for this warehouse is going to be berries. Slot two is going to be planks. Slot three is going to be wood. Wood, wood, wood. And slot four is going to be tools. I've got 461, so I'm making money. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that I can buy land for 250. And I'm going to buy this. Because it gives me access to the water. What do we got? Uh, one new building unlocked. Alright, Forester's Camp. And those two people have arrived. I forget, they arrived really fast on this map. So let's do one more woodcutter. And one more planks. Because I want to speed through these. the creation of planks. And... This is going to accept stone eventually. I expect to have a lot of stone, so I'll just assign that, but we don't have any anybody to work that yet. Right, so let's wander through here. Should I build the fisher's hut or should I start with a sheep farm? We can't really sell the secondary food yet, so there's no reason to start the fisher's hut. Let's widen this extraction zone to be all of this and in the meantime um, we did unlock the Lord Manor so let's see if we can get the treasury up since I set housing out here is there a hill there that I can build on? there's a hill here so even though we didn't cut down these trees I'm gonna build a Lord Manor here uh, let's do the core and we're going to put it right up on this little hill. This is a little hill, right? Yeah, right up on this little hill. Right back in the corner. Not exactly in the corner. How do I want to do this? I think this is good. And we'll rise it up a little bit. So we have like a door underneath the window. There's the door. The tower will go on this side. Then the most important thing is the treasury, so I can get my maximum amount of money uh, up high enough. And... Temp Village Center Part 251. <laughs> uh, so let's do... We can do small treasuries. So I'm going to do a small treasury on the side here. Does it show me how much... Well, I like the added splendor, but it doesn't show me how much... Maintenance cost is really going up. That's going to be expensive. 
And then I'm going to put another one on here. Small treasury. We'll just connect it right behind it. Or do I want to connect it over here? We'll connect it here. Kind of duck it in behind the tower. That's good. That should raise my income up a little bit. Doesn't look completely ridiculous. I could put this over here and raise it up a little bit higher. Treasury towers. Yeah, we'll go with that. It's going to cost me 215 planks and I have a whopping 48 right now. It's going to add 10.5 labor splendor and the maintenance cost is going to be 29 gold. Let's do it. And we only have one builder, Rudolph. We're going to need tools. E Actually, this doesn't need any tools, which is interesting. But we're going to, going to need tools. So I'm going to stockpile the wood for now so I can unlock this trade route. There's the 20. Okay, unlock the trade route. We got it. I'll undo the stockpile so they can start. Yeah, now he's going to bring those two boards. They buy berries or polished stone or planks. And they sell tools for 10. And tools is what I want to buy. So for tools, until inventory reaches and I can hold down. And let's say 25. I can hold down to make this flip faster. And then I was going to unlock this zone here. Buy for 250. I've got 301. All right, we'll buy it. How is the gold doing anyway? Looks like I'm making 80. And it appears they took out the income quest. Or the income quest doesn't activate when mods are enabled. I don't know which it is. Right, and then my next trick's going to be sheep farm, but I don't want to use any resources. Does the... we can stop watching the Lord Manor for a minute. Does the sheep farm take... It just takes stone and wood. So where should our sheep be? We do have two unemployed, so I can start making wool and then cloth. Let's see, sheep, sheep, sheep. I think this is fine for sheep. We'll put it right... We'll put one right... There we go. And we're almost done. 46 out of 95 for the Lord Manor. I'm at speed 3. And we have people that are unemployed. I would say berries. Here we go. I'll help the king deliver 30 berries in 60 days. I will do it. What kind of stuff do I want? We're going to have a labor splendor like crazy. Do I want to unlock the Lord Manor next, or do I want to unlock the keep, the wooden wall? I really like the idea of the Hunter's Hut. That's fun to see. And then we have clergy. We already have, um, no, we need five splendor and three, so I'm going to have to build a rustic church. Can I build a rustic church yet? I can build a rustic church. And how's the happiness? Yeah, nobody needs anything yet. I am going to do this for the clergy. I'm going to help the clergy with 30 berries. Okay. And we need to stockpile berries, basically. So, where are we storing berries? We've got 22 stored. The hut has two. I'm going to stockpile for a minute. So I can get up to the 30 berries. Oh, there we go. Thank you. All right. We've got uh, 10 clergy now. We can turn off the stockpile. So you can continue to feed the people. So what do we want to build? We can afford the weaver hut now. So we might as well put the weaver hut, the whole, the whole weaver deal. And this is the front of it. Uh, we'll put them over here. And we'll put one right here. And then we'll also need a tailor's workshop, but it needs the polished stone, which we can't get. But we can start making cloth. Hey, is this finished? It is finished. All right. So first things first, that should increase the splendor greatly. Let's get rid of this extraction zone. And let's 
build out the residential a little more right over into here. And let's take it away from that whole area. And the treasury is now up to 1400. Perfect. And you can assign soldiers to the manor. And we've got a couple of unemployed, so why don't we sign two soldiers? Jacques and Barbara are assigned as soldiers. And they will uh, they will come up here and the pathing is not quite perfect yet, but uh, there they are in their little soldier. Don't kink it too close. There we are. With their with their little weapons. And ah, uh, those steps don't look quite right. We'll have to fix that. Can I can I plant any bushes? Mmm, decorative bush. Yes, I can. Um, we'll do a decorative bush on either side. There we go. Make it look a little better. You just walk right through the bush. And a fence. I'm not going to put a fence up. The fence takes five gold, one tool, and one plank. Man, that is expensive. All right, we've got uh, our first sheep farm. Assign available villager, Mary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sheep. There you go. And the weaver hut. And we're going to need a warehouse. We'll put the warehouse right on the edge. And we've got wool. And we don't have any more cloth yet. But we have James and Jean the Weavers. It's JJ Weavers. One of the best cloth at JJ's. All right. So slot one is going to be wool. Slot two is going to be cloth. Slot three is also going to be cloth because we're not going to have a tailor for a while. And Rupert, this is your warehouse. Go get stuffs. Yep. All right. I'm gonna slow it down because if I if I keep doing this, I'm just gonna want to keep playing the game basically, <laughs> and it's it's time to take a break. Anyway, uh, there you go. Uh, first episode done, and we're well on our way to uh, a glorious mountain village. Let's see. Can I get a good shot here, the Lord? Can I get like behind the Lord Manor, like up in the mountains here? There's the lone tree. Can I? Is there any? Maybe, maybe down by the side. I don't know. I need to work on the camera shots. Uh, we'll we'll do this. We'll do this one. Uh, there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you later.